What's going on everybody? It's Jonathan. And in my previous video, we did the Moondrop Chew Twos and I'm going down this rabbit hole with the $20 IMs and I'm having a lot of fun. Um, this video is going to be today about the 7 Hertz Zero. Now what's cool is that it was announced, I think two days ago, I think it was Sunday night, that the Zero Twos, the critical Zero Twos, will be coming out or are already out and you can order them. Um, I will be getting mine it was supposed to be Sunday, but I saw on Amazon today it's been pushed to Monday, which is fine. I think it's good also to always check out the original and then check out the new one to see how different they are. And from early thoughts, I find out something that is really cool. Um, I have learned in my experience, my short experience doing this, that there are two distinct sounds that I like. I like a neutral sound. Um, that's just when I want to chill out and enjoy the music and just lose myself. And then sometimes I want to get hyped up and I kind of like the V shape, which is more energetic and it just gets me in the mood, just excited and all that kind of thing. Um, where this one falls is in an interesting spot and we'll talk about it now. So when you order these and what do you get? You get this little box here and you slide this up and boom. There are your zeros. I really kind of like how they come in different colors. So when I ordered mine, I got the baby blue ones and was super happy because once I got them and opened them up, they had the red tips. And I don't know what it is about this, but I truly love them with these little red tips. I think they look great. Um, plastic body, and then you've got the, the metal on the front, which looks pretty nice. Um, when you continue to open the package, you've got your cables here, and then you've also got some more of the tips in different colors. So pretty minimal little box, but it gets the job done. So when we talk about build and quality, it's a pretty good build here. Um, I haven't had any problems with issues. The putting the cord in, no looseness. It's pretty solid once you get it in. Um, it's easy to place. When it comes to comfort, I haven't had any issues with these. Um, they're a very light IAM. And getting them in and getting them fit hasn't been an issue. Uh, the cord isn't bad at all, really. Um, I haven't had any memory issues. It's kind of got like a little stylish plug here at the end. So it's not bad at all, especially for $20. They don't feel like overly cheap to me. They actually feel pretty solid. So let's talk about the sound on these seven Hertz zeros. I had a previous video on the Chew 2 where I felt like the tuning they nailed. Like, there was a balance within the treble, the bass, and the mids. Like, there's just this great tuning, and for $20, wow. These, I kind of liken to, sometimes you want your chicken just normal, but sometimes you go to Popeye's and you want some spicy chicken, right? And then now I think they have the ghost pepper. Well, this is ghost pepper. And when I say it's ghost pepper, I'm referring to its treble. Like, I think the bass is good. The mids are good. The sound stage I like better on the Chew too, but it's not bad at all. And the general tuning of this, this headphone or this IEM is good. But I think the issue that I have with it, and I'm not adverse to treble. I like treble. But the treble is a little bit too much with them in a sense where it overshadows the rest of the tuning on it. It's shimmers, like the shimmer sound, where it's just kind of like there's this whole veil over all the sounds, especially voices, female voices, where it's just a little bit too much treble and it causes a shh kind of sound overall, which is which sucks because I think if it was just tuned back a little bit, and I'm sure with EQ, you can probably balance it a bit, or if you love that sound and if you love treble, then these are definitely for you. Not for me in a sense where I do love treble and I love extended treble, but this overpowers the rest of the sound I feel with the headphone. And that's a little bit too bad. And that's why I'm excited to see the new 
version two of this, because if they corrected that, then boom, again, we have another $20 IEM that's really, really good. Um, it's amazing how the IEM market is so, what's the word? There's so much competition that everybody's striving to get a great sound, especially at a great price point, especially at a price point where if you look at over the ears, um, you'll be paying more to get a similar sound. And that's really, really cool. Competition is good. Um, so that is my only issue with the sound with these things. I just feel like the treble is tuned a little bit too much where it overshadows how good these things really could sound. So again, would I buy these? For me, if you are a person that loves a lot of treble and you love that sound when the treble kind of overpowers everything and puts a sheen over it, go for it. These will be good for you. If you want a more balanced sound, then I would say the Chew 2 would be better. Um, it's not going to give you the neutral sound, but it's going to give you more of an exciting sound. But these would not be for me just because I want a more balanced sound and I don't want the shimmer that comes with having a little bit too much trouble. Um, are they a bad product? No. I, in fact, if you do like that sound, if you like some shimmer to your shake, then these definitely would be good for you. Um, they're just not there for me, but I'm excited because again in a few days I'll be getting the version 2 and if they dial it back a little bit I think this is would be this and the 2 version is going to be an excellent headphone um, But again, I love the design. I love the look of it. I think it's a great looking IEM, but just a little bit too much shimmer for my shake. I hope you enjoyed this video I will see you next time. Have a good day